Hello and welcome back to the Linux Panic YouTube channel. This video we're going to be looking at how to make our Ubuntu or Debian based operating system or any other GTK based desktop okay, cinnamon look like Windows XP. So let's get into making the video. The first thing we need to do upon any sort of installation video is make sure our system is up to date, which we can do with this. As we can see here, there is only one thing that needs to be done, or well, thing that needs to be done, and move some packages, but I'll do that later on. Do is all NeoFetch is installed because it would not be right if it was not installed. It's the law. If you didn't already know, you have to have NeoFetch installed at all times. So this is what I'm currently working with. I'm working with a KVM running with eight gigabytes of RAM, four cores, and go. So need to do check to see if we have Git, of course. In this case, Git is not installed, so sudo apt install Git. Git. We'll select yes for that one. Wait for it to catch up. So wait for it. There we go. Now what we need to do is we need to enable software and updates. Because what we need is we need to make sure that we have the multiverse enabled, which we do, because otherwise it ain't gonna work. So first things first is we need to get clone HTTPS. Oh clear the screen first. Clear. Get clone. Dt here ps colon slash slash github dot com slash nick Matthews dash one slash Linux XP. Now you may have noticed that's two X's. That is intended. It is Linux XP. So what this is going to do is it's now going to clone repository to cd into linux xp and as we can see here we have an install a license a readme a git a github and the zips that we need so we'll have a quick look at the install sh just to make sure nothing's going on what we can see here is it runs a update and upgrade this adds the repository universe which we've already done this then instructs the System to install the Cinema Desktop environment with the Light Desktop Manager, unzip Windows XP desktops.zip and Windows XP 3.1 zip, cd into the home directory, make the directories.icons.themes, move these to the correct place. So, what we want to do is we want to do change the modifications, give it the executable permissions for install the sh sudo dot slash install sh now what this will do we'll go through the process of adding everything we need this is currently saying hey look i'm going to download two gigabytes worth of stuff well once it's done two gigabytes worth of stuff if we just have a quick scroll up there's a lot of stuff here that's needed which is to be expected we are installing an entirely new desktop environment so that's to be expected as we can see here, we want to select Light DM, Light Desktop Manager. And this is going to go through the process of uh, extracting the packages, preparing, well, installing everything. So this may take a little while because, as we discovered previously, it is upwards of, we're getting into the gigabytes territory because the fact of it is it's a highly new desktop environment. We can see here it needs to get 553 megabytes, an additional two gigabytes, two and a half gigabytes worth of disk space will be used just to install. So, turn done. Now that the install of the updates as well as Cinnamon Desktop is installed, what we want to do is we want to come into the install. So, nano install.sh. Now, I have spent some time playing around with this and I have changed how this works because previously without this sudo here it try it won't move these into here and because I was doing slash 
alias home slash alias home slash alias home it wasn't actually do moving it to the correct direction it was moving it to the root instead of the place we needed to be so what we need all we need to do really is just do dot slash first off change the modifications to the installer so just do install sh and now what we want to do is just do dot slash install sh and this is going to go through the process of download updating your system if needs be extracting everything and putting everything in the correct place so if we were to cd back down all the way back down and do a list everything we now have a themes folder as well as an icons folder and if we just do cd icons for example we now have our windows uh three uh, windows xp Point one. So once we've done that, what we want to do is we want to log out of the user. So in this case, we just want to log out, log out. Wait for us to be given the login screen. So in this case, it's XP and then click this, go cinnamon. Give it the password. Now, th what this needs to do is this now needs to kick into the fact that, hey, look, new desktop environment so what we want to do of course is customize uh, in my case uh, i want to change put the back there uh, we want to do desktop or oh, sorry monitor or display even we want to do display make this all nice and dandy turn nice turn it Let's keep this configuration. And what we want to do is we want to come to themes. And we should now have our usual the icons uh, Windows XP 3.1. This will change in a second. And desktop. Once this is caught up, because we do need to come to here first, we need to come to our home. Go view. Give it the show hidden files, which is what we want. Themes. We need to drag and drop these into the themes folder directly. And we need to come back to themes. Watch it have a cry because it does not know what to do. So we're just going to quickly kick it in the face and say, no thanks to you themes like this and we now have all sorts of themes but because in my opinion Windows xp luna is the best we're going with windows xp luna now what we can also do is we can go back to my git repository we've changed so what we want to do is we want to give this a Quick refresh we now have a desktop as well as a config so we will just download the entire package okay so we'll just do download zip that'll pull that down and what we want to do is just uh, open with archive manager do this just drag and drop all of this to here we want to do Set as wallpaper for that one. Once it catches up, because, well, we can see it's trying to catch up. Next, we want to do is we want to do configure. Come here. Port from file. Do download. Do this. It's a change. We've now got some more things changing. Now, an easy way of doing this would just be to go customize in this case. Or we can just do backgrounds. Let's say, okay, right, let's add in something from the pictures folder. So again, desktop. We will just do a quick copy, pictures, paste.
I said all backgrounds. Hell of a good type. Because my B key is dying. Now, sometimes this can be ever so slightly problematic, and you know what? That's fine. There's no hassle with it there. Just want to come to pictures and select open. I said select open. We will do select downloads then. No. Not exactly wanting to play ball, but everything is working. There is just a few things here, such as this is not themed correctly. But if, again, if we come here, and there's XP Luna, Luna, the only thing that is off is the mouse. But then again, it's fine. We have a fully functional system. So I will just give this a quick log out, log in, not shut down. There's the lock. We'll just give it the XP. Say log out. Log back in just, just so it has a chance to catch up. Yeah, XP. In this case, I still want cinnamon. Chance to wake back up again. The, the reason why this might not be running is because this is saying, hey, look, desktop drivers. Yes, I know. Browns, please. I don't know if we were... See, it is working. It just doesn't want to work with that. And that is fine because... Realised. This is a PNG when it is... Probably needs to be a JPEG, so yeah, let's go. Oh, we'll restart this. Browns. So it's just wanting to be funky. So choose your own picture of the lunar desktop background, but here we are. Have a Windows XP looking environment. And it is persistent. So if we say, hey, look, open this. What a being, we've got things that look the same. Everything is correct as one. So, I would like to thank you all very much for watching.